Hello guys, welcome to Geology Concepts. In this video, as you can see, uh, I'm going to discuss this question in front of you. This is a question based on fault pattern. Okay, so there's a fault given and there are some beds dipping in some direction. And you have to find out that which type of fault has given this type of pattern on the outcrop. So if you read the question, a northerly dipping fault FF has displaced beds P, Q and R. Okay, so if you see, this is the fault F and F. And this fault, which is northerly dipping, it is, it's dipping towards the north. And this fault has displaced these beds, which are P, Q and R. Okay, so a fault generally displaces a beds, displaces a bed and uh, this is a recognition criteria of the fault it not not always a fault displaces the beds but most of the time okay the thickness of the beds across the fault is same okay so the the thickness has not changed so we can say that uh, these beds are not a part of a fold okay so in, in in case of a fold sometimes the beds the thickness of the beds also changes so identify the fault types okay so there is a s in the brackets this means that it uh, that this question is an msq that means that more than one answer can be correct so we have to find out that which types of fault can be uh, can have produced this pattern okay so so more than one fault can have produced the same pattern okay and, and maybe a combination of those two but according to the options we have to find out so we can see here that uh, a very straightforward pattern that uh, let me raise this all that all the beds in the north block have shifted towards the left with respect to the beds in the south block okay and if we see from the side the beds in the south block have shifted towards the left with respect to the beds in the north block okay so this type of fault is called a sinistral strike slip fault okay so we can find this option as d uh, in this question so it's uh, i mean it was if, if it were dextral i mean we could have easily understood the, these beds would have shifted towards the right so it's clearly sinistral fault so i i'll show you with this diagram also this fault is a sinistral fault Okay, so uh, if I say that this is the this uh, this wall has shifted towards the left with respect to this, which also has shifted towards the left with respect to each other. I mean, they both have shifted towards the left with each uh, with respect to each other. So, so you can see that these were the beds and they have been displaced. Okay, now the new pattern is here which you can see okay so you can see that the beds in this block have shifted towards the left and here also they are shifted towards the left so this is very clearly we can see that this is the pattern which is produced by a sinistral strike slip fault okay a sinistral fault is uh, you can say that um, it's a strike slip fault okay now now if you found uh, if you want to find out another uh, pattern i mean another fault that could produce this pattern okay so we'll see that with this figure so here we can see that uh, it's a it's a normal fault and there's a hanging wall okay and a foot wall okay so uh, suppose this this direction is north okay so we'll we'll try to create the same conditions as in the question so if this is the north this should be the west direction and we can see that uh, the beds are dipping uh, generally towards the uh, west direction and the fault is dipping northerly okay so if we see that in case of a normal fault and this this would be a north that was in the north block in this case and this would be the south block 
सो एज वी सी इन केस ऑफ अ नॉर्मल फॉल्ट दिस नॉर्थ ब्लॉक हैज गॉन डाउन एज एज इट इज द हैंगिंग वॉल एंड नाउ यू कैन सी द स्ट्राइक ऑफ द बेड ऑन द फॉल्ट प्लेन ऑफ द फुटबॉल ओके सो नाउ एज द फुटबॉल इज एट अ हायर एलिवेशन इरोजन विल कंटिन्यू एंड दिस वुड कम एट एन इक्वल लेवल ओके सो दिस वॉज दिस वुड गिव राइज टू अ फाइनल स्ट्रक्चर विच इज टू द राइट हैंड साइड विच वी कैन सी दैट नाउ द स्ट्राइक ऑफ दिस बेड ओके एज यू कैन सी दिस डैश लाइन्स नाउ द स्ट्राइक वुड बी हेयर एट दिस लाइन ओके बिफोर इट वॉज बिफोर इट वॉज हेयर बट नाउ इट हैज इट इज हेयर ओके सो यू कैन सी दैट नाउ द स्ट्राइक ऑफ of this bed has shifted towards the towards west okay with respect to the north block okay so if we see the question if we see the question the uh, the beds have shift in the north block have shifted towards the left with respect to the south block okay and if you see here that the beds in the north block have shifted towards the right with respect to the south block okay this means that an opposite thing should happen for the case for for the beds to shift for the beds in the north block to shift towards the left hand side okay so for that in that case what should happen that there should be a reverse fault okay so let's see what will happen in that case in that case the hanging wall would go to a higher elevation okay and when the hanging wall would go uh, at a higher elevation the erosion would take place on the hanging wall okay and because the erosion would take place on the hanging wall suppose at this level the hanging wall is eroded and remind and mind you that this is a a reverse fault is taking place okay there is no figure but just imagine that this is reverse fault so this hanging wall has gone to a higher elevation and suppose at this level the erosion has taken place okay now you see that the strike of this bed is previously was here and now it has shifted towards the west okay this was the north direction according to us what we had taken before so it has shifted towards the west direction okay so as you can see in the question the beds in the north block have shifted towards the west direction so our uh, our another answer would be a reverse fault okay and sinistral fault we had already seen so a normal fault we have seen that it uh, it will not be the case it would, it would be just be the opposite case where the the beds in the north block would have shifted towards the right and in case of dextral fault also uh, the beds should have been shifted towards the right of the, on the north block in the north block so i hope uh, you all understood this question and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments and uh, just share the videos if you uh, share the video if you liked it and if you want to join uh, us with our other students you can fill the forms fill the form in given in the description and you can attend the demo classes which are absolutely free of cost so see you in my next video bye bye